in tradition has many names that are very similar throughout the Pacific, such as Mo'ula, Mo'ula Nui, and Mo'ula Iki. There's also a channel that is named right next to this island, which is Ke'ala Ikahiki, and it talks of the pathway to Tahiti in the south. The traditional name of Kaho'olawe is Kohema Lama Lama O Kanaloa. And that means there's a shining beacon in the south. Kaholavi, when you come from the south up to Hawaii, sits in the middle of the island chain. It also has at the point on the island, like the channel Keala Ikahiki, a name place that is called Keala Ikahiki, which has a compass. Now this particular spot, Keala Ikahiki, on the island is one of the few places on every island that you can observe certain constellations. One is Hokupa, the North Star, and the Southern Cross. These constellations are very important when you're traveling from the south up to the north, and from the North Hawaii down into the south. The other thing is that as a fish child of Kanaloa, the Kinolaos are the He'e. The He'e is a symbol like an octopus or a squid that is common throughout the Pacific. Also, Kanaloa is known, besides the celestial navigation, also for the winds and the currents and other things very relevant to the ocean. So it has become a very, very special island when in Hawaii we have few islands that is habited. Now this particular island, since the war, was used by the military to be bombed. And part of that in our culture was that there were many burial sites, there were many religious sites, especially with the name as a fish child of Kanaloa. And so it was noted for its fishing resources. There's very little water and uh, a lot of fish is there. So one of the most important things in sites on the island was that all the outer islands would come to this particular island to fish. The other very important resource that was there was the ads quarry. Now the ads, stone ads, were two very important tools in the culture, stone tools. And what it did was to provide for the building of canoes also homes, houses, and also the relation with the land, the Kino Laos from the mountain, which is where a log and a canoe comes from, and the other symbols that are very necessary in a relation with the environment. So Kahoolawe was returned after many Hawaiians that died and many kupunas, and it was basically because of the elders like Mao who found a handful of students who were willing to learn about the culture. They took a risk, they got arrested, and after many years, in fact, it was after Hokulea in 76, that in 1977, a series of occupations began by Hawaiians. And this eventually, in 1990, was returned. In 92, we had ceremonies, and it is one of the most successful because of the burials and because of its cultural relation to the Pacific, to the migration. And we have had many migrations that are documented like voyages of canoes that was coming up from the Pacific into Hawaii and going back. This particular island is where they did stop and they did live and prepared for the voyages back. So voyaging is very important. Makali'i has built one of the first compasses, and we are now pursuing, through the use of the return of the island and the stopping of the bombing, a construction of the traditional compass there that hopefully we will be able to use for navigation. The other thing is that in education, we're trying to look at resource management, which is with the marine shorelines. And that is something that is very open to the Pacific as island people. So I hope I've answered your question. Yeah, thank you. Very much. I want to raise a question. 
especially for those who experience this world. Uh, without the island, are you able to manage the journey? And he would have been able to get us down here safely. Uh, I just want to say, uh, uh, if uh, Piailuk didn't uh, go with us, uh, I think uh, Shorty would have been able, because uh, Shorty has uh, navigated Makali on his own uh, under the study of uh, Ma Piailuk success, uh, successfully from uh, Hawaii to Tahiti and back. Uh, and Piailuk, uh, only his uh, teachings were with him, and he was able to uh, successfully sail the canoe on his own uh, with, the, with his crew. But, uh, I think uh, with Ma with us, it's kind of like a security thing to uh, to you, you kind of feel safe because you know you know so much and uh, it's just a real comfort to have him on board with us. If there's a storm or something coming, you can let us know ahead of time. That's it. We currently have at least, besides Shorty, there are about five or six other navigators in Hawaii who can successfully navigate canoes. Others, uh, besides Shorty, there's Nainoa Thompson, who many of you might have heard of. There's Bruce Blankenfield, there's Chad Babayan. So, since Mao has come to Hawaii, it has been a very successful educational um, experience for others in Hawaii as well. Um, to keep myself on track, I started going to this program. Um, the whole thing that got, got me more involved into it is the the importance it actually has for yourself. Um, <clears throat> like me, uh, I don't work too well with books. Um, a lot of people that I know and that are in the high schools in Hawaii, they work well by doing things, not by reading. Um, the best way I think to learn is by experiencing it and not just reading about it. Because if you can read a book, you can memorize the words, but you can't actually talk about what you're reading because you've never actually and um, <clears throat> that's that's one of the, the things that drew me to the canoe um, also the excitement the, the, the rush that you get um, doing something that that your ancestors have done thousands and thousands of years before you and um, it's it's really exciting it's really fun um, it involves a lot of things that you read about and learn about in high school. And um, <clears throat> I myself have graduated into the, to, after the program. And um, ever since then, I've been with the canoe, helping whenever I can um, on dry docks, getting it ready for uh, voyages or student sales. And um, uh, I've, been, I've been helping with the program for uh, three years already. Um, helping uh, other high school students um, learn and experience themselves the, the feeling that you have on coming to the